we have installed the Apache web server and we set up directory browsing and now we want to password protect a directory. And to do that, it's, it's a simple step-by-step -step process. Um, First, to control access to the directory, um, I would probably create a user. So I'm going to do user add. And the reason is I don't want to use a standard local login account. Um, I want to I want scaled down privileges, or I want a finer amount of control on the privileges of this user. Um, and although it's not a local login out of habit, um, and okay. And the next thing I want to do is I want to, I need to create an HT password file. And the command for that is HT password. And just like the SMB password or password, I need to use the dash C option to create it because it doesn't exist yet. And where do I want to put it? Well, um, some people put it in Vera, some people in SRV, a lot of people put it in the Apache folder. You just don't want to put it in the www folder because of obvious security reasons. You don't want people browsing that directory via their web browser and having access to the HT password file. I'm going to put it in Apache, the Apache 2 subdirectory by default with all of the other configuration files. And it needs to match exactly, it needs to be HT password. Remember that dot in front of it, it creates a hidden file. So it won't show up if you do a long listing or a list. It, LS, it, you have to use ls-a to show hidden files for that. Okay, but um, in addition, I need to specify the user I want to add to it, and it'll be the, the user that I just created. Oop. So web user, right there. And the password, I'll go ahead and enter the HT password, and this will be the authentic, you know, the account and the password that he has to use to get into the website. Okay, um, now the next thing I need to do is create an HT access file. And I want to do that in the folder that I want to protect. So um, I don't want to do it here because I don't want to password protect the entire website. I want them to be able to at least get to the index page. Um, but I want to pr password protect a subdirectory. So public and in this case, um, I want to, you know, the contents of this directory, this is where I actually want to make um, my HT access file. And before we've used Gedit, but I'm, I'm going to use uh, Nano just, you know, just for illustrative purposes. And HT access, um, you know, two C's and two S's there. Let's go ahead and open that in Nano. And I just need to add a few lines. And the first one is auth user file. And that's where the user file is created, and you know, watch the variable name and, and you know, case sensitivity there. But Etsy Apache uh, two, and I stored it, and I need to tell it what it is, and it was HT password. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to add is auth group uh, file. I'm just going to set that to null, null device, null pointer. I'm not really using that or not important. Um, the auth name authentication name and it could be the entire website but I'm just going to make it the name of the subdirectory the folder I'm protecting um, authentication type is going to be in, in this case basic just password authentication via the user and then this last one I could say require user and I want to do this uh, optionally you could all you know you could also say um, require valid user and that would be if you had added multiple users to your HT password file, that would be all of them. But in this case, I'm going to use the first option. I'm going to specify the user that I added, web user, and just use him for authentication purposes. So check your syntax, make sure everything looks good, and then you want to save the file. And in Nano, I can just control X to X. I want to save it. I'm going to say yes and call it HT access. And again, make sure you run this with root privileges or you won't have permission to save the file. Now, if I list the directory, notice that the file doesn't show up. 
Again, when you put a dot in front of a file or folder, it hides it. Now, if I list it with the dash A option, there it is. Now you see it, there's HT access. And the next thing you want to do is set the permissions on the file. Now my UMask is 022, so by default I have a I have the appropriate permission set on the file. But if not, I would just sudo chmod um, and then I would need at least read access, so 644 and then dot ht access. And it didn't really change anything if you notice it. Um, in this case I you know all the permissions are the same there. Excuse me, let me do ls with an A option or ls with uh, there, a del la option. Didn't really change anything because of my UMass setting. You know, if, if you look at my UMass, it's 022. But anyway, yeah, you, you want to password protect it, so if necessary, chmod it to 644. So what have we done so far? We've added a user for web access, we created the ht password file, we created the ht access uh, file in the folder that we want to password protect, And now we need to go in and modify um, the default site configuration uh, file. Or if you had more virtual hosts, if you were hosting more than one website on the server, you would have to go find the, the configuration file for that particular website. For us, it's easy because it's just the, the default. It's only on this server. And for this time, I'm going to use gksudo and the gedit command. I'm going to open that as a text editor. And I want to go here. And I want to go, um, I want to go, I want to go. I want to, excuse me, that was uh, <laughs> my daughter running screaming through the hall. Ah, children. Okay, um, we're going to modify the configuration file. So I need to go into Etsy and Apache 2 and sites enabled, or excuse me, I can't think since I'm still thinking of my something about my daughter. Okay, so we're going to go in here and we're going to go in and load the default configuration file. And we just need to change one more thing here um, for uh, allow override, in this case, um, where it says allow override none, I need to specify authentication here. So I'm going to change an option and I'm going to specify allow override auth config. So um, I need to go allow override auth config. And I, oh well. Wow. Sorry, my kids are running up and down the hall screaming, and I'm trying to concentrate. Um, <laughs> I hope you can you actually hear what I'm saying, uh, <laughs> and not screaming children. Um, allow override um, and auth config. All right, so I, I I need to make sure that I add that here. So again, um, you know, we were kind of interrupted there, so let's just review what we did. We made a specific user account for web access. We set up an HT password file in the Apache config folder. Um, then we set up the HT access file in the folder that we wanted to protect. And now we have to modify and edit the configuration file. So I'm going to save it. And I just added this here. And Whenever I do that, remember I've got to restart the Apache web server, so it'll reread the configuration file whenever I do that to a daemon. So the command for that is going to be sudo, and I need to go etsy, and I need to go init uh, d here, and I need to go apache2, and I need to go restart is the command line option I want to pass in to the server. So my syntax is okay. It looks like my syntax was good there. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and open up the web page, and here's the web page, and if I go here, now it's prompting me for authentication. And the user account I used was web user, and I'll go ahead and put in my password, and there we go, and now I've authenticated, um, and now here are my files and things. Um, so, just an example of password protecting a, you know, a subdirectory of a website using the Apache web server.